I realize I'm standing between you and lunch, so I will make this as short and sweet and informative as possible. Thank you for joining with me. I appreciate the uh, rhythm and syncopation. We're going to talk about where we are with NGMM Phase Zero, which was started last, well, technically got started when we released the BAA. Uh, we got everyone under contract recently, and so I'll be talking to you about where we are, what we're doing, more importantly, where we plan on going uh, as we move into Phase One. So one of the things I want to start off with is the importance of perspective, which is kind of how we view the world. Some of you, well, many of you, don't take that personally, are old enough to remember this cover from The New Yorker. And this was back in uh, my junior year of high school, OK? But it showed the view from Ninth Avenue, and you see the Hudson River, and you see there's like Jersey, and there's Texas, and Chicago, and California, and the Pacific Ocean, and other countries. At DARPA, we have a similar kind of thing, where you see the Potomac River. Some would also see the Mississippi River um, crossing into the land of all of you, who are the ones that help us do the things that we need to do. So we've got the DOD labs. We have the Defense Industrial Base, Department of Energy, intelligence community, other government agencies, too numerous to list, but you're all a part of this ecosystem, SMEs and academia, and all keeping us afloat in the Howlmeyer Ocean. So again, we thank you, but we recognize that without you, we don't push the technology that we need to push, because your inputs, your expertise, help us to move forward. So as Mark mentioned earlier, we are at a point of manufacturing inflection. And please keep in mind that it's these manufacturing capabilities that have allowed us to move forward. Manufacturing is a foundation, great ideas, great you know, thoughts, yeah, this is conceivable. Uh, if I can believe it and conceive it, I can do it. However, if I can't make it, then I don't get the full benefit. So what we have now is primarily 2D, 2.5D, monolithic integration primarily silicon, and packaged after fabrication. Where we at DARPA believe that we're moving to is 3D, and I'll also say 3 and a half d where you combine stacking with interposers to, again, bring you different aspects, different capabilities, different ways of putting all these things together. We're looking at disaggregation. We're also looking at multi-process, multi-material. So in addition to silicon, three fives, two sixes, MEMS, how can we combine photonics? You heard um, this morning a discussion about using glass, so integrating waveguides. So we're looking at here are a number of different ways to now integrate things in the same package. The other piece, though, that's critical with this is that packaging is no longer distinct, which really means you have to start thinking about how this particular microsystem will be integrated from the time of design of that particular system. So what are we doing? Uh, NGMM, NGM squared, uh, NGM, whatever you want to say, just be respectful and realize that you know, we're pushing forward to create a national capability for 3DHI, R&D, and pilot line manufacturing. Okay, our anticipated users from industry, startups, small businesses, medium businesses, large businesses, where people are saying, well, that idea is too crazy for us, so go on over that center. Okay, academia a place where our graduate students, as was mentioned earlier, I've got an idea for a 3D structure. Can I get that done domestically? The answer, if we're successful, will be yes, you can. And then government, our defense industrial base. This national capability will, is envisioned to have a stable manufacturing process. We are in the process of looking into uh, ADKs or 3D ADKs, assembly design kits. Again, more DARPA hard challenges. And the output is expected to be microsystem prototypes, as well as the digital twins associated with that prototype. Why? Because the purpose of this facility really is to facilitate additional advanced research and development into 3D HI microsystems. So we are currently in phase zero of a three-phase program, phase zero, phase one, phase two. Why are we doing phase zero? To inform planning for this manufacturing center. And so what we asked the community to do was to come up with some exemplar 3DHI microsystems. Even in the proposal process, we said, hey, tell us what you'd like to do. Tell us how you would manufacture this thing if you could do it. But more importantly, how does this push state of the art? What's the, shall I say, DARPA factor of two, factor of five, order of magnitude, improvement in whatever parameter of your choice, OK? 
Then after that, provide a detailed analytical report about that microsystem. What does the layout look like? What is the, give, give us a block diagram, okay? If you're going to make this, and if you're going to test this and do the verification validation, what tools and equipment and processes and all those other things will you need in order to do that? We also ask for recommendations about one of the number one bugaboos, IP. Both looking at the IP of the microsystem itself, as well as any IP required to do the testing, to do the manufacturing. Because as we all know that have been involved with manufacturing, I spent a number of years at Hewlett Packard, that expertise is key to how we do this. So for phase zero, we selected 11 teams. You can see the, the breakdown. Uh, and they are currently defining and going through the process for these microsystems. The overall program structure is shown here, where phase one will be to establish the center. We recently released an RFI basically saying, hey, we would like to do this. We'd like your input on how to do this. Looking at certain aspects of manufacturing. If you're talking about doing multiple materials, if I've got gallium arsenide and mercad tell, in addition to silicon and GAN and silicon carbide, what are some of the things I need to think about if I'm gonna do that type of integration in the same package? What are the issues in terms of um, the, the layout of the facility itself? If I wanna do disk interconnects, what do I need to do? If I want to create an equivalent of an automated material handling system, so that I increase the amount of automation in that back-end process. How do I establish equitable access for users that want to do it? And again, IP, 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 and IP. And did I say IP? Did I mention IP is gonna be important? Okay, again, so with where we're going with phase one, phase two, phase one, establish the center, phase two, qualify and operationalize it. And what we really want to do is bring this to what we're gonna call pilot line capability. Not quite full production, but also a step above just creating prototypes. So to give you an idea of who's been selected, 11 teams, and again, I'm showing the, the team, and I emphasis, emphasis on teams because there are groups of organizations involved with each of these teams. You might see some things that kind of jump out at you in terms of what the exemplars are. Uh, phased array, phased array, phased array, phased array, system on chip, RF massive MIMO, which is a type of, yes, thank you, okay, uh, vertically stacked cube power microsystem, focal plane arrays, think there might be some interest within the Department of Defense and in the IC for that. Uh, oh, wow, a uh, multi-function array. Another phase array, imagers. All this to say that the group of exemplars that were presented and showed significant changes, again, we're looking for that disruptive change to existing capabilities, are covered in this set of teams. So for more details, there is a workshop on the 24th, 8.30 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. There will be 10-minute lightning talks from each of the phase zero performer teams. There will be additional information about what we're planning for phase one and phase two. And there'll be an in-depth question and answer session. So without further ado, thank you very much. Enjoy your lunch, and thank you for attending this conference. Bye now.